Hey, um, good morning. Thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. Uh, this is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Mailer. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, how to custom position the unsubscribe links in the email templates in uh, Mass Mailer. So the various options, yeah, for global unsubscribe and the group unsubscribe both of them. All right. So um, to start with, um, let's uh, learn about a very simple technique on how to customize the global unsubscribe uh, content. Um, so many of you may wonder, hey, uh, mass mailer is automatically um, appending the unsubscribe link, but how do I change that, right? Uh, so the, that's the first and foremost thing. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at it in Salesforce. I'm going to be interactive in this webinar, uh, so we can just go, um, you know, one slide at a time and then kind of explain how you can achieve that in Salesforce. Okay. So if I switch here to Salesforce and I'm going to go to Mass Miller Setup. <clears throat> And then go to tracking settings. And here you can actually see that um, uh, we have the subscription tracking. And this is where you could actually enable uh, the subscription tracking. Okay. Uh, and then um, you could um, modify the content from here. So it could be uh, something like DIV align equal to center and then uh, click here to um, subscribe and then you could have div that is going to end and here we have to add Uh, the notation which will actually enclose um, basically click here to unsubscribe would be the unsubscribe link for you. Uh, so you need to have at less than percentage symbol and then percentage greater than symbol in between you can uh, write your own text. So this is something that you can actually customize. Um, it is uh, in your hands. This is a default text uh, that mass mailer adds. And similarly, you could have the text one. Uh, in text, you, you can't have the HTML code. Uh, so what you would do, uh, you would um, basically um, just say something like this. And here, uh, it actually means that uh, you are, um, you know, adding a, a link whenever you are sending out a, a text email. Uh, this would be the link that would be added. Okay. So I'm just going to go save this. So that's basically how you can actually enable uh, the subscription um, uh, tracking uh, and also you can modify the unsubscribe uh, link content uh, within, this, uh, within Mass Mailer. Okay. And now the next subtopic that I'm going to cover is how to custom position global unsubscribe link. Uh, again, uh, if you're uh, familiar with Mass Mailer, there are two types of um, uh, subscription um, options. One is the global unsubscribe, other one is the group unsubscribe. Global unsubscribe means that you are letting the users to unsubscribe from all the emails. Um, but group unsubscribe means that you're letting the users to unsubscribe only from specific um, uh, groups, uh, such as newsletters, marketing communication, or product news, so on and so forth. Okay. So here, um, the way you're gonna custom position on the global unsubscribe link is just by embedding uh, this uh, text, that is the bracket, unsubscribe, and the bracket. Um, that's in the orange color right here. Uh, so that's what you're gonna enclose in the hyperlink. Um, you know, wherever you have the anchor, um, uh, text link that is where you just have to enclose this in terms uh, in the uh, in the href um, so that is just a simple uh, text that you need to enter and that would actually uh, the easiest way to custom position the global unsubscribe link yeah 
let's take a look at one of the templates here. I'm going to go to Mass Miller Template Builder, and then I would uh, bring up one of the templates here. Uh, so I got this global unsubscribe replacement tag. That's the name of the template. And then uh, all I have here is, you can see that this is the text that I have. Um, and it is a simple HTML code that you could see. Um, all I have is href unsubscribe, click here to unsubscribe, right? This is one option. Let's say you actually want to add uh, maybe simple text, yeah? Uh, so I'll just show it to you. Uh, this is an alter Nate way to add unsubscribe link, right? Let's just enter this. And then I'm going to go highlight this and then add a link here. All you need to do is again just do this unsubscribe, yeah? And that's it. So this is another approach. So if you just want to have a simple text, you can always hyperlink, um, you know, a part of that um, uh, text um, as a hyperlink. Uh, but if you are doing some HTML kind of coding where you really need something, um, you know, custom, you could always have your own HTML snippet like this, uh, where you're actually adding this unsubscribe link right there. Click here to unsubscribe. Okay. Um, again, the text is up to you, and how you're going to format this text is all up to you. So just go save this. And then uh, save to Salesforce. Now let's go uh, quickly test this. I'm going to go to one of the contacts. I'll set the registry folder. Okay, so this is the one that we're gonna use, the template. And then I'm gonna go save, go to the next step, and keep going. So this we're gonna keep as a global unsubscribe. Next step. And then finally finish. Okay, so I'm going to go select this. And I'm going to search in my emails for that particular text. Okay, as you can see, the click here to unsubscribe, um, you know. It has rendered this unsubscribe link. Uh, I'm not really clicking on this, uh, otherwise I would get unsubscribed. But um, I think you kind of get an idea that um, you know, if you want a custom position, there are uh, two ways you could actually achieve this, yeah? Now uh, for the global unsubscribe, okay? And uh, similarly, let's take a look at uh, the next option here. Okay, how do you custom position a group on subscribe link? Uh, there are again two options here. Uh, one is you can custom position the group on subscribe link with the default text. So basically, uh, if you want a mass mailer to default the um, link text, all you need to do is just enter this particular link um, in your code. Uh, that is ASN group on subscribe URL, um, ASN global unsubscribe URL, ASM preferences URL. So those three will have different links. One is for group unsubscribe, the other one is global unsubscribe, and the third one is the actual preferences URL. So if you did this, then you are basically achieving um, the custom positioning uh, because this is just HTML snippet. You can just add it any way you want it. Uh, but the only difference is that the, uh, the link text is defaulted. Um, so you won't have control, um, especially if you're 
having a different language template, then uh, this is not the option. Uh, but again, I think it's uh, good to take a look at how it looks and how it works. So again, I'm gonna go back to the template builder. Last mailer. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Replace um, and tag for group and subscribe. And uh, as you can see, this has some text here, async group and subscribe URL and all of that. So it's actually on our text it's HTML snippet, as you can see here, uh, we have the, uh, the div tag and um, you know, we have the small, uh, the, uh, sorry, the ASM group unsubscribe and the global unsubscribe and the preferences URL links right there. Uh, and then it's uh, quite simple. Um, so all I'm doing is I'm just gonna go uh, use this now in a, um, you know, in a test email. So test this out. So there's a contact. Step. Next step. Okay, so here is the HTML snippet as you can see. I'll just go save. Next step. Next step. So here we have to select uh, one of the groups. Uh, so it needs to be something that I never unsubscribe from. So I'm just gonna go select marketing communication um, because we are testing the group. And then uh, finish. So now I should be receiving an email with a text. Okay, uh, as you can see here, uh, we do have the unsubscribe from this list, unsubscribe from all emails, manage email preferences. So this is all the default text that we got um, because I said that unsubscribe from all emails, it actually uh, unsubscribed me and uh, manage email preferences, if I clicked on it, it would actually um, I mean, it'll show um, the email preferences. So I basically resubscribe to everything. Um, you know, this is the kind of uh, email preferences, um, the page that um, you would see, okay? Uh, so that's how you basically uh, custom position the um, unsubscribe link. Uh, with the default text. Now let's take a look at uh, how to custom position the group unsubscribe link uh, with their own custom text. Uh, so again, this is uh, something similar to what we have done in the previous step. It's just that here in the scenario, you can actually um, embed your custom text. Uh, so this will be very useful if you have your own um, language or maybe you don't like the default text. So here, uh, the the bold color that you see, custom text and subscribe from this group. Um, so this is just an example. Um, but again, you can just uh, change this to any text that you wanted. Uh, similarly, the custom text and subscribe from all, custom text manage email preferences. Even this, these three are all um, the custom text that you can um, embed in your emails in your own HTML snippet. So let's just take a look. In Salesforce. So I would go to the template builder.
and this is a um, uh, template where we have the custom uh, text. So as you can see, there's um, um, something similar but a little different. Uh, we have the uh, hrefs included, the anchor text, uh, anchor tags uh, for the links, and then uh, you have the text that can be changed so you can just say this is my text for example yeah uh, so that's basically a custom text right uh, so in uh, href is the same as in group unsubscribe url okay and let's just save it save to salesforce and then we can test this by sending an email to our contact here so, so click on send via mass mailer. Go to the next step. Uh, so the target audience here, um, just run back on. And then we go select the template that we just modified. So this is the template that we got. I'm just gonna go save this. Go to the next step. Next step. Next step. Next step. Uh, actually, in the previous step, I forgot to select uh, the actual email group because we are testing the um, group features, the group on subscribe features. So you have to select an unsubscribe group there. Gotta remember that. Next page. And again, finally review everything and then finish it. So basically, now if I search for an email for that particular text. We can see that this is basically just a, a custom text that we entered, right? Again, if I just say manage email preferences, it's going to take me to this page. And then if I click on the other one, it'll unsubscribe me from this group, and also it'll unsubscribe from all if I click on the second link. So this is how you can actually uh, customize the text uh, that is being displayed when you are custom positioning your um, the link. Uh, so that's um, pretty easy, I hope. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, reach us anytime. Uh, you can reach us at um, our, on our website, massmiller.io, or send an email to the company email, hello at massmiller.io. Uh, and feel free to email me directly as well at siva.devaki at massmiller.io and you got my contact information as well. Uh, once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar and please remember that this is a weekly webinar that runs every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Um, you can always um, you know, look for the current topic by going to our website and click on join webinar or if you're in the um, email list, uh, you would receive an email as well. And we do publish this on our social links too. Thank you so much once again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.